Hey everyone, this is Ross. In today's video, we are basically, we got a, just a crap ton of figs. There's no other way to put it. And what we're doing with the figs is that we're going to be making some fig pizza. I got my buddy Dom here. And we are right now, we're proofing the dough. We put some nice cheese on it. And we're going to come back, I think, in a separate video, talk about how we're making this pizza and then also how we're using the figs here on the pizza. But I want to bring you guys over here because right in this video, we're going to be making some sauce. And uh, these are from my own tomatoes. This has uh, honestly been a, a game changer for me. Um, I almost refused, and so other than this, this black crim that we have over here, you can see a nice little goat cheese here. My buddy Dom made some, what kind of bread is this? Siraki. Siraki. It's he made, sweet bread. It's basically just incredible. Um, and we got ourselves a black crim right here. So I think black crim is one of them tomatoes that's so good that you're like, all right, well, I can eat this. I can eat this fresh. But these tomatoes we're looking at here, this is orange banana. And we also have a, a heart tomato from my buddy Joe. Um, I can't remember what exactly some of these names are, but Joe, if you're watching, this is your awesome tomato right here. But between the both of these and some of these others, even just the heirloom beefsteak tomatoes, this is my buddy Chris's Paps Mega right here. And we're gonna even use this in the sauce. And what I'm essentially doing is just cutting the tomatoes in half and really taking out all these seeds um, and all the juice. You can see it all in this bowl. And then what we're gonna do is essentially get this food processor out. I'm gonna get that out right now. And we're gonna lightly food process these tomatoes. And I don't wanna do it too much, too crazy, because if you do it too much, as Dom likes to say, what happens when you food process the tomatoes too much? It gets all foamy and gross. It's kind of disgusting. It takes all the air out or something, right? Exactly. When you're saying you, that? You inject air in there and it's puffy. You know, you just want to chop. Yeah, so, you know, us pro Italian cooks right exactly. here, we're, we're basically telling you all the, the secrets. And uh, yep. <laughs> essentially, you don't want to be doing too much food processing. So what I'm essentially- Just pulse, just pulse, don't blend. Just yeah. Tap the button. Exactly, I don't know yeah. if you guys picked that up, but basically we're just filling this up in here. Yeah. Turn it on, and then that's it. Real quick, except we had a little bit of an ejection there. That's not good, but uh, next time we'll get this thing going right. But essentially I'm running this thing for maybe, a, you know, two seconds at most, and that's it. And then you're done. And then we're gonna put all these tomatoes in here. Just get them to this consistency you see down here. And then we're gonna throw it into this pan here. But before we do that, we're going to come back to you guys in a moment here when I'm done cutting up all these tomatoes. You know, I'm going to cut one up for you guys real quick. Let's cut one up and show you guys this, this little process. Put you guys down for a minute. So what we got here is orange banana. This is a really nice heirloom. I recommend this. This is very flavorful, this sauce. And I think, in all honesty, it has a lot to do with the tomato. You start out with the right tomato. And you can see when you open this up, look how little juice there is. Little gel, there's very few seeds. So it's very simple to go from this process here, cutting it open and just taking this out and dropping it into the bowl. You can also give it a little squeeze, but I don't like to be too tough with these tomatoes. I don't like to be too rough with them, um, even in the food, process, pro food processor. Here we have, a, I think, a persimmon tomato is what it's called. We'll cut this one open. And you can really squeeze this out if you want. Again, I don't want to be too tough with this. Just get all that juice out of there. Cut out all the bad stuff. And then, or you can come in here with your thumb, which I think is a better method, personally. It takes more time. But I'm telling you guys that the key to a really good sauce is starting off with the, the right tomato. And it's not just about the variety, guys. You need to have less water in your pots. Or if you're growing them in pots or even less water in the ground. If you're over watering your tomatoes, they're gonna suck up that water and you're gonna have less sweet, less flavorful tomatoes. So it's really important to almost dry farm these if you can. Just like our figs, just like all of our fruits, they uptake that water. Even a pepper, if you give a pepper too much water, 
the capsation in the pepper will actually decrease a bit. Where if you dry farm it, you'll have a very hot pepper. I had a jalapeno one year that blew me away. And my family's from Calabria, I can eat hot food. But this jalapeno blew me away, I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. So um, I think it's really important guys, I just wanna stress that so much. Get the right tomato. But above all, I think it's important to find a tomato that's gonna do well in your climate. These, this orange banana is really superior to a couple others that I've tried. This orange banana puts out so many tomatoes, whereas I've had some others like alpaca, which haven't done that well this year. In fact, they get some blossom end rot. Um, this one seems to be really foolproof here, orange banana in Pennsylvania. So I, I recommend it. Just start off with the right tomato. So we're gonna come back in a moment here, guys. What we're gonna do is we're gonna be cutting up some garlic and we're gonna saute the garlic here in the pan first. We're gonna get that brown. Then we're gonna throw in all this tomato here and let that boil um, for about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on the consistency here that we want. So I'm gonna come back right to you guys right now. All right guys, so we got our little garlic in here. Saute that in olive oil. I totally forgot to show you guys that step, but just very simply made it brown. Once I got brown, we threw in our, our tomatoes here from the food processor. Again, don't blend them up too much. You can see all that juice and all that gel and the seeds that are left over. That's quite a bit. Threw all the tomatoes in here and it's now gonna boil down, condense down, it's gonna thicken up. I really like a thicker sauce and what we're doing now with the pizza is that we're letting it proof. And we're gonna throw on the sauce pretty soon but I really wanna get this cooked down pretty close to the finished products. And it's a little tricky here because what we're gonna have to do is take the sauce almost in its finished product and finish it off in the oven. So it's really important here to kind of keep that in mind. But if I was just doing this for sauce, just to jar it up, can it up or something like that, you know, cook this all the way down to the consistency you want, just kind of like a jam. We throw in all the fruits in here, let it boil, make sure we keep stirring it so it doesn't burn and uh, just get it to that right consistency that you guys prefer. And that's, that's all it is. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna throw in a bunch of spices in here. A bunch of different things that I like to add in, like fennel, we're gonna add in some basil, we're gonna add in some rosemary, a little bit of oregano, we're gonna have some salt, um, even some red pepper we can throw in there. These are all my personal preferences. I know there's a lot of purists out there that might be watching and say, oh, all I want is tomatoes and olive oil and garlic and that's it. But, um, you know, I just love all that different flavor in there. So it's all up to you at this point. And this is kind of really it. There's not really a whole lot more to discuss, I think. Um, I think you should just go out there and do it. And the key things to remember in this video is just start off with the right tomato. Um, everything else I've done here is very simple. Just taking out the gel, cutting them in half, putting them in the food processor, and then getting them in here to boil. I mean, it's doing its thing. I'm not really doing anything. So to me, this is very simple and you know, it's more time consuming than having a jar of sauce, but I promise you this is like way more flavorful. It'll, it'll blow your mind. And in fact, I'm really, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm not using tomatoes for anything other than this. Like this is how good it is. Um, so I, def I definitely recommend it to you guys. I had no idea and all, I was growing tomatoes all this time and I had no idea that they could be this good in this form. So check it out. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. I think we're gonna show you guys the end result here, so stay with me, but give you guys a nice little thank you here and we'll catch you all for tomorrow's video. Stay tuned for the, the finished product.